Hi everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're happy and you're having lots of fun working in your journals or doing whatever craft it is that you like to do. Today I'm going to be um, documenting two different stories, but they're both beach stories. So I just decided to stick them together. And um, I went to the back of my journal because... I knew that I had multiple pages that were blank and um, I needed a lot of pages to work with because I have quite a few photos. So uh, I found this little spot here and it worked out perfect because I have this pocket that said April and um, the first time we went to the beach was back in April and it was for my youngest daughter's birthday. We had asked her what she wanted to do for her birthday and she said that she wanted to go to the beach. So we went down there um, for three days and we just had so much fun. It was just so great. I love going to the beach. So I went ahead and I had pulled, previously pulled out a bunch, went through my stash and grabbed like a bunch of different summer and beach theme type stuff. And one of the things that I chose was this Graphic 45 um, collection called by the beat by the sea and I had some 12 by 12 papers and I also had this 8 by 8 um, paper pad as well and then I also picked um, this printable kit from Amity Bloom I'm not I can't remember what it's called I'm sorry but I will leave a link to her um, Etsy shop where I got it in the description box below so I just kind of looked through this kit and I'm just cutting out some different things that I thought I may want to use. So I've got my paper pad and um, I've got like little stickers, just random sea stuff, ocean stuff, summer stuff that I thought I may want to use. And then um, that is just a little container of like scrap ledgers and things like that that I have on my desk. And I really liked that linen, that blue linen. I felt like it went with my the photo of my daughter and um, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and use it as a photo map for like to frame her photo. So, and then I found this Western Union um, telegram that I really liked the look of it and I thought it would be great to start my journaling off there. So I'm going to stick this photo on um, on this linen here, but when I went to stick it down, I felt like it needed just a little something under it, but I didn't want it to cover up those really pretty flowers. So I pulled out this piece of vellum and it had like little splotches on it, white splotches, but just to give the photo something to lay on just because I felt like it needed a little, a little cushion and I liked that the you could still see the flowers through the vellum and um, and then I went ahead and tore it so it would kind of have like that beachy look not just kind of like the rough edged look and here's just a little close-up of what that looks like so it kind of lays down and it gives it a nice um, a nice look for the photo to lay on so I went ahead and grabbed some of the die cuts that were in front of me and I'm just trying to decide if I want to put anything else over by that photo and um, I ran across this little cut apart and I liked that it fit perfect underneath that April and it gave me an extra little journaling space. And then I found these little beach border stickers that I have. And it's just like little crabs and seashells and this, a sand castle. And I just trimmed it down so that it would fit on the bottom of that pocket there. And that pocket is actually from um, like an old uh, budget book, a vintage budget book, where when you open it up, it has every month and there's like a pocket when you can write down your bills and all that. So I'm just going to fiddle around with these um, die cuts and different pieces and just kind of trying to decide where I want to put them. And I like that Oh Happy Day. I felt like it went really well. 
So I go ahead and glue that down and then I um, put a little staple in it with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next page. And because my journal is getting so chunky, I put a clip in there just to help hold it open. So I've got a couple of photos from when we went out to eat while we were there. There was um, a, a restaurant called Burrito Social, I think. And I love Spanish food. I mean, it is like one of my favorites. I love tacos, I love burritos, I love ceviche, I love empanadas, and it's, it's just so yummy. So, um, and it was within walking distance, so it was nice that we were able to go from our hotel to the restaurant. So, I wanted something that I could put both the photos in and also have a, like a little pocket to, um, well, I, what originally I thought I was going to do was stick the menu um, behind the pocket, but it didn't fit, so... I ended up doing something else with it. So I just grabbed a scrap piece of paper and I folded it up and um, decided that I would put my photos in there, but I wasn't quite sure what direction exactly I wanted to go with it. So I kind of took a pause from that page and I started working on the other page. And this photo is um, its one of my favorite photos of all time, I think. And I pulled open um, the Granny Chic book because that paper is just typewriter paper. So I, I wanted to find something that I really like to lay the photo on to cover up that page. And my son is just looks so immensely happy. Like he is just so smiley and giggly in this photo. And if you've watched my channel for quite a while, you know that it is difficult um, for me to get good photos of him. He likes to give me a hard time. But he was just cracking up. And the reason why was because he was teasing his sister and he just thought it was so funny. He was being a little stinker to her. And every time, I think she was like digging a hole and he was putting the sand back in the hole or something. And every time that um, he would do it, she would like get all hot and bothered and he would just crack up laughing at her, just teasing her. So I went ahead and picked out this beautiful page from the Granny Sheep book that I love and I did not want to do too much to this at all. I really just wanted the photo to speak for itself. But again, I wanted something that was going to um, give the photo something to lay on. So I I used another piece of that um, vellum and then I grabbed some white tissue paper just to kind of make it pop off of that page just a little bit because I love the photo and I loved this page these florals these blue florals they're just so pretty and um, again I went ahead and just tore the edges because I didn't want it to have you know that neat look the neat and tidy look I kind of wanted it to have like a little um, messy rough look on it and then I grabbed these little photo corners that I have and stuck them on the photo to help it pop as well and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of that so you can see that it really just makes the photo pop I really like it a lot He's just, he's such a little stinker. It's such a cute photo though. I'm probably going to scrap that one in a 12 by 12. So then I'm back to this little, um, I don't even know what you would call it. This little fold out that I'm trying to make here. But I wanted to give this paper just a little bit more interest. So I just stitched all the way around it with some red thread. And, um... I'm going to go ahead and lay these photos down from when we went to that restaurant. And I've got one of myself and my son and then my daughter and my husband. And then I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put underneath the photo and on top of that little space there. 
And then this is just a little bag of die cuts that I had um, in my stash. Some are die cuts, some are just scrap pieces of paper from a different collection. I can't, I think it's like a K, or no, I think it's Kaiser Craft actually. So, and it just has some little like label die cuts and flowers and so I'm just trying to see if I can use any of these pieces because they're just little leftover pieces that I had. But I grabbed a scrap of ledger and I'm going to go ahead and just use that to start off my little cluster base that I'm making there. And then I put a piece of washi. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my tiny attacher to stick that down. So um, I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers so I'm going to be doing a giveaway really soon but I thought I would do something a little different and fun and um, do like an extra giveaway that will I'll release whenever I do my actual giveaway but um, so for this little extra giveaway um, if you want to be a part of it um, go ahead and in the bottom in the comment section tell me what your favorite food is and that will be your entry to um, the extra giveaway so I went ahead and made my little cluster and um, I pulled a little piece from that Amity Bloom kit that little flower washi there and then I'm going through some little tiny word stickers and alphabet stickers to see if there's anything that I want to use. And I also stuck a piece of scrap ledger on the top so I could do my journaling about when we went out to eat. Well, we went out to eat multiple times, but this place was just my favorite place. It was so good. I got like this steak bowl, kind of like what you would get at Chipotle with like the rice and the beans and the peppers and the onions and steak and cheese and they put so much cheese on it. It was so yummy. So we're definitely going to go back there. And then I had this little stamp set and it was like a food related stamp set and um, I just stamped out the word, I think, let me, let me take a peek here. Um, delish and it has a little arrow with a heart and then um, I just stamped out the lunch label inside the other label and wrote the date that we went down to the beach or that we were eating at the restaurant and then I grabbed another one of those little cut aparts and stuck that down so that it would help hold the flap of that open and then that is my menu from the burrito social but it didn't fit so I wasn't going to try to force it because, you know, it's already chunky. And then this is another linen from the Amity Bloom kit. And I really liked it a lot. And I felt like it went because the little, that cute little girl that's digging in the sand on that label, her little shirt is peach. So it, it kind of goes together because it's got the same colors. And then I've got this other little label here that says Swim Little Fishy. And I had went ahead and pulled out, I pulled out some um, summer quote stickers. You know the transparent quote stickers that I always use. I love them so much. And that one says, sand on my fingers, sand on my toes, sand everywhere, even up to my nose. And I liked it because the photo on the other page is them playing in the sand. So, um, I'm just kind of looking now for something that I can tuck in this little space here that I can write on. And I found this other little journaling card from that Graphic 45 um, collection. And then I had this um, little piece of trim that was in that other little baggie. And I just made a little tab and did my um, journaling on there. And I journaled about my son and how he was just filled with joy teasing his sister and he just it, it was funny of course I had to get on to him but it was pretty funny and then I went ahead and tucked the um, the ephemera that I had from that trip which was the menu and then it was like a little um, parking ticket because my daughter came up to visit us and then um, my oldest daughter 
and um, just a little thing from the hotel that we stayed at and a postcard that I got while I was there. So now I'm on to um, the second beach day that we went, which was um, a month later in May. And we didn't go to the beach very much this summer, which was kind of disappointing. I'm hoping that we'll be able to go again soon, but I love going to the beach. Um, so we kind of just spent the day with um, my family. My sister came down, my brother and his kids, and my dad and my stepmom. So it was three of the five kids that was able to go. And um, I, on the left side there, I'm going to leave that page blank because while I was working in this spread, I remembered that I had another photo that I had not printed that I really wanted to put of um, when we were at the beach for my daughter's birthday. So I just clipped that little piece on there so that, that I can use it later because I really liked it. And then this is a little cut apart thing from that Amity Bloom kit. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out these flowers to use it as a pocket because that's what she had made it for. And um, I'm just going to just kind of like not cut it out completely but do just like a little border around it. And just a helpful tip if you're fussy cutting, um, it is way easier if you move your paper instead of your scissors. I got that from Scrapbooking Days and watching Mercy Tierra on YouTube. She's got a lot of neat little tips and tricks that I have used throughout the years. So um, I went ahead and I trimmed down this Graphic 45 paper and I was thinking I wanted two pockets so that I could fit the photos in as well and I'm going to just make a pocket with that page and then I've got the other little pocket of the floral pocket there and then the white paper that it's on that you saw me stick on there that is one that I had bought from either snap click supply or American craft digitals so I've got three photos here all together and I felt like that that pocket there needed just a little pop of something so I went ahead and I stitched all the way around that too and you see my little fingers go tapping and I'm thinking <laughs> I don't even realize that I do it until I watch these videos it's a little embarrassing but um, so I went ahead and pulled out my project life cards and I'm just kind of looking for something that I can stick these photos on and, and in and I've got these two of my daughter and my niece and then my dad and my nephew and um, that's my younger my brother's youngest baby Sammy he's such a happy sweet little boy oh my gosh he is so darn cute and then I've got this little photo of my sister and myself and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on the back of that project life card and um, and, and do my journaling on the back of there and I'm just kind of digging through these die cuts again to see if there's anything that I want to use and I really like those um, that photo of um, my daughter and my niece and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down on that project life card and I like that it's kind of poking out of the flowers so as you can see, I'm pretty much intermixing um, beachy scenes and floral scenes and and I'm alright with that. I think it's pretty and I like it. And then I go ahead and trim down this photo of my dad and I round the corners like I did it on the first photo. My dad and the little baby. And we brought um, our coolers so we had a packed lunch and umbrellas and the kids had so much fun and I just love watching them play together it's, it's just such a nice feeling and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down that flower pocket first just the little strip and then I'm gonna glue this one underneath it so that it so that the flower will lay on top of it 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down that little flower pocket there. And like I said, I will leave a link to Amity Bloom shop in the description box below so you can check her out. She's got a lot of beautiful, wonderful kits in her shop. I have quite a few of them. And then I also had this little um, die cut that said Beach Rules. And um, it's really cute. That little image of those two little kids playing in the sand is just so sweet. So I go ahead and I staple that on the edge of the page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a little tab for the photo of myself and my sister. And then I find a little card that I can journal on there. And I'm just writing about how when we were at the beach, my daughter called because the internet um, had gone out. The dogs had actually dug up the cords in the back and chewed them and it cut off the internet. And while I was talking to the guy, um, the tech support trying to figure it out, um, I could not remember his name and I usually always try to remember people's names when I'm on the phone with them and I just had a blank just went blank and so I called him mister and my sister looked at me and started cracking up laughing and then I started laughing and then I had to mute the phone because I was laughing so hard and she was laughing so hard and um, that poor guy but so I'm just kind of journaling about that little funny story and then um, I also journaled about how, you know, we had a wonderful day together and I think it's been at least 10 years since I had like spent time at the beach with my dad. So I was really grateful for that too because um, it kind of brought me back to when we used to go to the beach when we were kids. And um, so now I'm back up front here and I've got that little postcard that I got when we went for my daughter's birthday and I'm just I for I, I missed that photo so I went ahead and just stapled it on that postcard when I was it got lost in the mess in front of me so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, some journaling down here and just you know talking about our trip and um, and then also you saw me create a little cluster in that right hand page in the top corner there and that little doily is also from the Amity Bloom kit and then here are some close-ups I hope that you guys enjoy this video and remember um, I'm gonna do a little side giveaway extra one before the real giveaway well you'll get it when I do the real giveaway but so if you're interested in that um, in the description box below or comments below let me know what your favorite food is or favorite meal or all that good fun stuff. So I hope that you guys have a blessed day and um, I know this video was a little bit longer than normal, but it had been a while and I felt like getting super creative. So I will um, see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.